friends welcome to igniter max at this video we are going to do the trigonometric functions of the negative angle that is nothing but sine of minus theta is equal to minus sine theta cos of minus theta is equal to cos. so we are going to prove it so we'll stay till the end and the concept will be clear cartesian coordinate mentioned like x coordinate and y coordinate the theta goes in the anti clockwise direction so the theta lies in the positive term like 0 to 90 it contains of positive 90 to 180 180 to 270 and 270 to 360 it act as a positive term as a positive theta okay now for example if it goes in the clockwise direction for example then the theta will be act as a negative term we have came across lots of the formulas related to the positive term like sin theta is equal to opposite upon hypotenuse and the trigonometric ratios like tan theta is equal to sin theta by cos theta sin of minus theta equal to minus of sin theta how did it came what is the reason behind it and cos of minus theta is equal to cos theta how did it came the all the question mark occurs so this is the video in which we will get the clear concept of it stay till the end so the concept will be clear the trigonometric functions of the negative angles that is in the angle lies in the clockwise direction right so let's start with it now we need the help of the cartesian okay so let's name the x coordinate and y coordinate we have mentioned over here now at for the examples i'm going to take the first and fourth quadrant okay so from 0 to 90 that is the theta is in the positive direction so, okay now 0 to minus 90 okay then the theta lies in the negative sign okay because it is going in the clockwise direction over here the actual part of the diagram is occurred like 0 to 90 0 to 90 the theta will be positive 0 to minus 90 the theta will be minus 90 okay now um, we have drawn a ray op okay at the first quadrant and ray oq at the fourth quadrant and we are going to determine a unit circle at this uh, trigonometric function or negative angle to prove it okay in which the unit circle contains the radius as one and we have drawn a chord from p to q okay it's written over here and it's divided into two right angle triangle over here one right angle triangle over here one right angle triangle let's start with it now the p lies in the first quadrant yes the p lies in the first quadrant but what are the coordinates like what will be the order pair of x and y this is the x term coordinate and this is the y coordinate the at the x coordinate it contains the positive term yes at the y coordinate it contains the positive term so p of x y will be in positive but at q x coordinate will be positive but at the y coordinate it contains the negative term so x of minus y this is what we have written over here now the next let's come to the trigonometric ratios with unit circle we have came across the trigonometric ratios like sine theta is equal to opposite upon hypotenuse we have determined it please go through the description link if we have not seen about it if not seen okay if seen then well and good you can continue it it's very easy trigonometric ratio with unit circle okay now first i'm going doing for theta that is in the anti-clockwise direction that is the theta over here okay with the help of it we are going to do for the minus theta that is for the clockwise direction so let's start with the theta that is anti-clockwise direction now we are going to apply the trigonometric function for the theta over here the 90 degree is over here so the opposite side of the 90 degree is nothing but the hypotenuse so this is nothing but the hypotenuse right so we are going to name as r because it's nothing but the radius of the circle so we are naming as r the r value is one in the unit circle yes now opposite side of the theta is over here so we are going to name it as y why because this is the y coordinate parallel to y coordinate so we are going to name it as y over here theta is over here adjacent side will be over here so at the triangle right angle triangle the adjacent side is over here so we are going to name it as x so the adjacent side is name it as x opposite side is name it as y and the hypotenuse side is name it as r let's start with it 
sin theta is nothing but opposite upon hypotenuse so the opposite side is y and the hypotenuse nothing but r so y by 1 y by 1 or y is nothing but same cos theta is equal to uh, is equal to adjacent upon hypotenuse the adjacent side of the theta is x and the hypotenuse nothing but r so x by r so 1 r value is 1 so 1 tan theta is nothing but sin theta by cos theta so after doing it we will get the answer and the cosec theta is just the reciprocal of sin theta and sec theta is the reciprocal of cos theta and cot theta is just reciprocal of tan theta. We have came across the trigonometric ratios with the positive angle, with the positive theta. Now we are going to do for minus theta. Using the definition, let's prove for negative trigonometric function. That is cos of minus theta theta sine of minus theta and tan of minus theta cos of minus theta okay the minus theta is over here at the fourth quadrant now the 90 degree is over here opposite side of the 90 degree is nothing but hypotenuse we have named as a r in which r value is 1 minus theta is over here opposite side will be over here so it is named as a y and the adjacent side is over here okay x so this line is placed parallel to y coordinate so y over here it's x coordinate so x okay and at the fourth quadrant the x term contains the positive and the y coordinate contains the negative that's what we have written over here now cos of minus theta whatever the formula for cos theta the same formula is for cos of minus theta only thing is that we need to put the minus that is the only difference between both of it cos theta is equal to adjacent upon hypotenuse so the adjacent side for this is x okay hypotenuse nothing but r so x by r yes we have written over here x by r but the r value is 1 so we have got the value as x by 1 is nothing but x but if we seen at the positive theta that is over here we have took cos theta is equal to x by 1 the same thing we have got x by 1 is nothing but the cos theta so we took the value of cos of minus theta and we get the value as cos theta so it determines as cos of minus theta is nothing but cos theta yes we have got it now sine of minus theta okay now over here the theta is over here we need to put the formula for sine theta that is nothing but opposite upon hypotenuse so the opposite side is y and the hypotenuse is nothing but r so y by r but the thing that we need to note it at the y value okay over here the y term is in the negative form so we need to take the negative value at the y term so we took the value of y Okay, minus y divided by 1 but if we compare with the sine theta it's y by 1 and sine of minus theta is minus y by 1 so the only difference is negative sign rest all the things are same so y sine theta over here and minus as like us okay this is the only difference so we have proved that sine of minus theta is equal to minus sine theta now while proving in the trigonometric function we need to take care only for sine theta cos theta rest of the trigonometric function will come as like us like tan of minus theta is nothing but sine of minus theta cos of minus theta like we have used the formula for tan theta tan theta is equal to sine theta by cos theta the same uh, functions we have applied over here the same formulas we have applied for the over here even we can apply for tan of minus theta that is nothing but opposite upon adjacent okay even if we use it then also we will get the answer same if not using it then just divide sine of minus theta divided by cos of minus theta but sine of minus theta we got as a minus sine theta cos of minus theta we got as a cos theta and after dividing it we will get as a minus tan theta and we have proved that tan of minus theta is equal to minus of tan theta now we are going to prove it by other side also like tan of minus theta over here and the formula is opposite upon adjacent so the opposite is nothing but y and the adjacent is nothing but x right so tan theta is nothing but y by x but the y coordinate contains a negative sign so we need to remember this y by x minus y by x y by x is equal to tan theta at the positive trigonometric functions so it will be minus of tan theta okay this is the other way of doing even we can do it in this way also the both the things we will get the answer same we got the three trigonometric function 
and rest all the trigonometric function will come as like as because we have already the formula that is cos of minus theta is equal to 1 upon minus sin theta reciprocal okay sec theta is equal to 1 by cos theta cot of minus theta is equal to cos of minus theta sin divided by sin of minus theta or cot of minus theta is equal to 1 by tan of minus theta okay after applying it we will get the formula so it's just a easy functions we have proved the three trigonometric function with the help of it we have proved the next three thank you for watching this video if this ignited max is so helpful then don't forget to subscribe it